Hello and welcome to the Old God's Meadery and happy Labor Day. Today we're going to celebrate summer wrapping up with some refreshing watermelon mead. Let's start by adding two of these Simply Watermelon bottles into the bucket. Now go get your 60 pound bucket of honey. We're going to use three pounds of that today. Add your third bottle to that. Heat and stir. We're just trying to dissolve the honey here, so no need to make it too hot. You don't want to kill the yeast in the next step. Combine the two. Add in two and a half grams of yeast, or about half of one of these packets. And a half teaspoon of yeast nutrient. Now seal her up and shake it well. Add in your three piece airlock, a dab of water, and we're done. Now we wait. All right, it's been a few weeks and we've officially stopped bubbling. That means the yeast has put in the labor. Done producing alcohol. Time to rack this mead. Nice. All right, we're gonna use this mini hand pump siphon to transfer our mead from our two gallon fermenting bucket to our one gallon glass carboy. As long as the bucket is raised above the carboy, gravity will do most of the work here. All right, fermenting cap, and we're gonna re-airlock it. Over time, all that gunk should drop to the bottom, leaving only the good tasting meat up top. Now we wait. All right, it's been a few months and we are clear. It's time to bottle this mead. Four bottles, corked, labeled, batch 131 is complete. Thank you so much for watching batch 131. And all into this, your watermelon mead to celebrate Labor Day. And I can tell you, I'm incredibly excited about this. I love summer. It's my favorite season. I'm sad that it's coming to an end. Uh, I But... If we're gonna if we're gonna go we're gonna celebrate right this is so beautiful like it just came out just an, an amazing like it still looks like you know a typical mead or traditional mead but it's got this just hint of red you probably saw it in the carboy when it was a bigger volume uh just it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful it's stunningly clear it smells like watermelon <laughs> we might have the best watermelon recipe of all time i don't know I don't know. Let's try it. You know what? It's pretty good. Getting a little sting. It definitely has a high alcohol content. Very sweet though. Uh, maybe a little hint of honey, but it tastes like watermelon. A little carbonated, just a little bit. It, it, it's an alcoholic watermelon. It's an alcoholic watermelon. We did it again. What a perfect way to say summer. Maybe not top five. Maybe top 20. Maybe it's in the top 20. I don't know. I love it. I love it. We did a good job again. This is so easy to make. Make your own. Ugh. Skull.